Hi, and welcome to the screencast for the week 14 polycultural online ESL course. Before we start, have you checked your grades and feedback from week 13? What about the week 13 assessment report your teacher filled in and filed in the PBLA section of the course? It's important to review your work. You can always ask your teacher for help if you cannot find your grades, feedback, or assessment forms, or if you have any other questions. This week's lesson is preparing you to be successful in a speaking task. You will learn how to give advice about a legal matter. The portfolio assessment is about giving advice and or suggestions to someone when they have parked illegally. I'm going to go ahead and click on the SCORM lesson for the week. Remember to say yes when you are asked if you would like to continue the lesson or start over so that you don't lose any of your answers. Now that you're in the SCORM lesson, you can click on Previous or Next to move backwards and forwards in the lesson, or you can go to the menu to click on a specific step. The lesson starts with information about the objectives and the CLB task that you'll be working towards as well as a link to the assessment form that will be used for this week's assessment task. In step one, you will begin the lesson by building your background knowledge and vocabulary. Click here to open the activity in a new tab on the course page. Click on Attempt Quiz Now to get started. First, look up the vo following vocabulary words before you watch the video. Then, watch the news story and read the questions. Type your answers in the boxes below. When you have finished, click on Finish Attempt and then Submit All and Finish. In Step 2, you will participate in a forum discussing laws and bylaws. Click here to open the forum discussion to a new page in the course. Spend some time reading some information and looking at the questions and then when you are ready, add a new discussion topic to begin your post. Remember to make your subject line meaningful for people who are scanning the list. In Step 3, you will go to four web pages to learn about vocabulary for road signs. Click on the links to open up the web pages and practice. Once you are done looking at all the websites, click here to review what you have learned. You will look at the sign and choose the appropriate meaning from the choices. Click on Next to move to the next question. Click on Submit when you've finished to check your answers. Step 4 focuses on modals of advice. Click here to watch a teaching video about modals of advice. Click on the Review tab to open the activity in a new tab. Click on the Scenarios tab to open the activity in a new tab on the course page. You will practice using the phrases and modals you learn to give advice for three scenarios. First, you can re-watch the presentation again on modals of advice. You can also link to a book resource with written information about it. And when you are ready, you will click on Scenario 1 and read the scenario and then you will click Reply. Don't forget to use the phrases and modals you've learned in your reply. Submit your response when you're done and continue the same with Scenario 2 and Scenario 3. Next, click on the Speaking Practice tab and write down two things that you should do and two things that you should not do while driving. Practice using the modals in each of your sentences. When you're ready, Record your sentences for your teacher to hear. Click on Add Submission and press Record. And when you're done, save changes and submit. 
In step 5, you will look at modals of suggestion. Click here to watch a teaching video about modals of suggestion. In part A, you will choose the correct modal of suggestion by dragging and dropping it into the box in the conversation. Click on Next to move to the next conversation. Part B will open in a new tab in the course page. Click on Attempt Quiz Now to begin. First, you can review modals of suggestion by re-watching the teaching presentation or clicking on the book resource to read about modals of suggestion. Read the conversation below and write the correct suggestions for the two blanks in the box below. Once you have completed typing your suggestion, click on Finish Attempt to submit for your teacher to give you feedback. In Step 6, you will learn about giving reasons and warnings. Click here to watch a teaching text. Click here to open up a practice activity in a new page in the course. In this activity, you will combine two simple sentences with one of the linking words in the chart. Try and use as many linking words as you can from the chart and be sure to punctuate your sentences correctly. When you have finished, submit your answers for your teacher to grade and give feedback. Step 7 is the teacher-led session that will focus on providing details. Click on this link to find out more about when and how to join the online session. Once you have listened to the teacher's presentation, you will need to complete a couple of follow-up activities that your teacher will explain to you during the teacher-led session. The next activities will open in new tabs, the Skill Using tab, the Assessment task, and the Reflection activity. Don't forget that you first have to complete the Skill Using task and get a grade from your teacher before you try the Assessment task. Please remember the Assessment task is timed. You only have 45 minutes to complete the task and you can only try it once. So please make sure you have time to finish the whole task before you click here to begin. This concludes the screencast for the Week 14 Polycultural ESL online course. Good luck with your lesson this week.